Hey yo, congrats for existing! On today's agenda, we've got a couple of things lined up for today, but for right now, I'm gonna talk about the recent One Nation Under God rally that has taken place. Here's a little sneak peek at some of the stuff that goes on today. My child here! to reaffirm that Canada's children belong to Canada's parents. Everybody was upset. Nobody really knew what to expect. There's there's a rhetoric in the media. You guys are proof that we are one nation under God. So we're going to solidify that as part of my child June campaign. What I set out to understand from this is what do they mean by my child June? I saw that on one of the posters, and what does the speaker mean by the rhetoric in the media? I'm sure we'll get through to that today, and I'm also noticing that they appear to be a group with the main focus being on children. But how and why is the main question in that? So, without further ado, let us get into this article from the Post Millennial, and the title for it is One Nation Under God Rally for Children Takes Parliament Hill as Parents Reject Pride in Schools boost religious unity. So, I'm first and foremost assuming that this is a more conservative-leaning group, but let us dive into the shallow water with how it talks about how parents came out on Saturday, which was the 16th of June, 2024, to celebrate the success of the Canada-wide walkout organized by the pro-family group Hands Off Our Kids. The article goes forth by noting where the phrase, One Nation Under God, which, for those that don't know, it comes from the American Pledge of Allegiance spoken by school children, and is now a rallying cry for Canadian parents and children who are weary of LGBTQ indoctrination in their schools. This indoctrination would include the raising of the pride flag in schools, but the message of this celebration comes from the movement's leader, Kamel El Sheke. Apologies for pronunciation issues, though to continue he says that 50% of the students across Canada stayed out of schools while the pride flag was raised as they and their parents insisted that June should not be Pride Month, but my child June month. Now, before we continue on, I want you all to go down below and answer what are your thoughts on the name my child June month, because I am personally for it. If you think that what is happening to your child is wrong, then you should absolutely be able to step in as a parent, and as they appear to be a group against what is happening in schools, then I'm absolutely for this then, because these are just concerned parents standing up for their children in my eyes. But let me know what you're thinking. Though to continue, let us watch a little snippet from the rally that went on. Flag, one nation, one flag. The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. Go Soji! My child too! My child too! My child too! The article continues by listing another movement that Kamel El Sheke has organized in the past, last September to be exact, which was the million person march to oppose gender ideology in the schools. And I think the thing that I really appreciate with this movement is that it isn't meant to be about a specific religion when it talks about one nation under God, but rather Kamel talks about trying to bring together people of all faiths to fight for the same thing. The children, which I for one find to be very admirable that we're not butting heads because of beliefs, but rather butting heads over trying to protect our children from what we deem problematic. I think that it is nice that there are still parents out there that are invested in their child's growth in today's time. This makes my mouth smile, that parents are going back to caring about what their children are learning. But let us watch the next clip. September 20th, ladies and gentlemen, is the start of the school year. What we're telling the country is, here's my kid, we're going to put him in this class, and we're going to follow up with my child, June, to reaffirm 
that Canada's children belong to Canada's parents. Once again, I really like the messaging of this group. It doesn't seem to me like they're violent, they just seem like peaceful protests that have a lot of pull within people nowadays. And I think that the other thing I really appreciate is that it appears that they are only against this stuff going after children in schools. I think that that is a really healthy mindset. It should be the parents teaching their children about what their beliefs are, and not the school or media jumping in to do that for them. Or, as I've put it before, have all beliefs in school or none. Because I'm against this specific push of pride onto children. I don't see a push for anything else other than that type of stuff. And that is giving today's children a biased education, which I disagree with wholeheartedly. I disagree with it even more when they're actively trying to teach the children about this stuff without the parents' knowledge. That to me is extremely underhanded to our own people and a massive disservice to the Canadian people on a whole. But let me follow that up with yet another clip where Kamel talks a bit more about where the movement stems from. So I'm with the organizer of today's One Nation Under God protest. This is for parents. This is the parent for parents to take back their country, their children, and their rights. And this is the organizer with hands off our kids, my friend Camille El Sheikh. Camille, what can we expect to happen today? Well, David, um, this is actually the One Nation Under God celebration for everybody. If you remember, take you down memory lane a year ago, we came together at the board uh, at Green Bank and Christians and Muslims and other factions, First Nations, were concerned. Everybody was upset. Nobody really knew what to expect. And so we had that pack that day. And I can remember the voices of cheers of that relief that we're going to do something together. And we're going to celebrate that day today with the One Nation Under God rally. I'm just going to point you to that speech when we said there's, there's a rhetoric in the media to tell Christians that Muslims don't like them or to tell Muslims that Christians don't like them. And then I looked at the audience and said, I looked and pointed at all of them and said to them, you guys are proof that we are One Nation Under God. So we're going to solidify that as part of my Child Tune campaign. It's going to be a great day. We'll report back later. Thank you, Camille. You know what? I could continue, because the article goes on to show two more clips from this organization. But I think that you get the picture of what they are for and what they are against. But here is where I ask you to go down below. What do you think of this? Are you for this movement or against it? And if so, why? I'm curious to learn about where you stand on this. But while you're down there, perhaps you could subscribe to hear more news coverage from a Canadian who talks about news going on, on main soil, along with news coverage from across the border. Because sometimes I just want to cover what interests me. But enough of that, I hope to see you existing tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.